Hi everyone. Well, it has been almost a year since I started working on bringing back uh, my brain children pets. And it has been successful, but if you see my videos, you will see that I did a few additional things. So that do not answer uh, for many of my friends uh, the question of, of what bare essentials I will need to be able to start a sea monkeys or an aqua dragons kit in my place, in my environment. Uh, so I decided uh, a couple of weeks ago to get two new aquariums to try to answer specifically that question. Of course, it's given that uh, I'm in a northern latitude that we get uh, in the winter, it's a freezing winter and we get a shorter time of light time so uh, I look for I had I have a LED floor lamp a, a reading lamp excuse me so that is the only source of light well there is a light behind me but uh, most of the time I turn on this one that I'm using it as a, the main source of light because I'm in a half uh, basement and the lighting even now in summer is not that good so I'm testing that light uh, to see if it suffice for uh, the hatchlings in these kits uh, to survive. Okay, uh, second the instructions since the last time have changed a little. Uh, now they still say to, and the sea monkeys, this is the sea monkeys, uh, to feed them on the fifth day, but then they change the wording. Now they say, and after that, uh, feed them as long as the water is clear. So in other uh, uh, words, you decide your own schedule and if the water uh, start getting uh, cloudy stop wait and then resume the schedule or whatever it is uh, that's why uh, before i did the first feeding i checked how clear uh, the water was uh, for the sea monkeys because when you put the packet number two it takes like a little thin color it's not cloudy but and uh, in the case of, of the aqua dragons is similar, uh, except that uh, it's each other day, but the same rule of unless the water, the water start getting cloudy, then you stop, wait, and then continue with the feeding schedule. Uh, Something that, uh, oh, uh, talking about food, the formulas of the aqua dragons and the sea monkeys are different, and the spoons of feeding is also different. So, as you can see, the spoon uh, of the aqua dragon is a bit larger than the, well, beside the spoon, the scoop. Because in both of them, you feed one's uh, leveled scoop uh, with the proper food. Their foods also are different formulas. So I found the hard way that not necessarily they will be happy with one another's food. So, uh, so this is the seventh day. You can see already the the aqua dragon swimming around and uh, let me see if you can see the sea monkeys here and yeah 
you can see some here. So this is the seventh day. I started both of them at the same time. Just have in mind that the aquadragons uh, hatch one day earlier because this is one step. Meanwhile, sea monkeys, uh, the bird, the the core of it uh, uh, hatch on the second day. So in in seven days, one day of difference can make a size, but uh, they are doing fine. Uh, yes, there is a little more uh, hatchlings on aquadragons than in sea monkeys. Um, also important that I did not did this uh, the as I should have done last year because I didn't understand how important was the water circulation. Uh, in the structure of sea monkeys, they recommend uh, to use a uh, clean plastic spoon. But uh, most of the kids, uh, and because lately the, the kids of sea monkeys do not include a, a, a pipette or what it was named the aqualish. But most aquadragons kits includes this pipette. Uh, so, uh, in the sea monkeys, they suggest to do the what they name aeration or oxygenation uh, the first four days. They say uh, regular intervals. Oh, I almost forgot. Also in destruction, they say uh, leave the the caps of at least the, whoops, wrong one. Leave the cap here. <laughs> leave the, the uh, quadragon said to leave the caps off, so. I did leave the sea monkey's cap off uh, too. Uh, so, water circulation, that is, uh, the last year I have learned that, especially when in the uh, first stages, uh, high levels of oxygen is important. So, uh, how this happened is that, uh, Low low oxygen levels are below, higher uh, uh, in the top. So you want this water to circulate. So by osmosis, the uh, low oxygen get uh, up here, and then by osmosis, the oxygen from the atmosphere will get here. So what I'm doing, uh, at least once a day, I insert the pipette and go one, oops, no, careful. I don't allow water to get in because that is jet and that uh, uh, churn things that you know. Okay, anyhow, two, three, four, five. So I go here. Some light. Ah, yes, you can see. One, two, three. Anyhow, you. Uh, yeah, uh, careful with pushing water because uh, sea monkeys say to feed them each other day, and uh, because they are so few at the beginning, a lot of. Uh, leftover food stay. So this is uh, three feedings already. So if you put water with little jet uh, of wa uh, water, you uh, churn all what that is in the bottom. They eventually will come down, but so you know. Uh, and because I have limited time, so you do the same here, one, two, um, to, so actually, I do it in each side of the aquarium 10 times for
for 20 times and I do it for each aquarium so that gives a nice nice uh, a, a circulates the water quite nicely okay another thing is that uh, you see this squiggly because it's open of course it evaporates faster so already it's quite low so uh, they would recommend to fill it until the squiggly but I fill it a little higher with spring water and that's it and uh, here again the same they recommend down here but I fill it uh, up here this uh, the joint this line that you see there so let me do it now Of course, it, it's steer all the stuff in, but that's fine. It will uh, fall down, and I'm using spring water. Uh, please do not use tap water. Uh, depending where you live, you do not know what uh, chemicals and what levels are in. So if you use tap water, it's a gamble. Uh, with the branchlings, namely aqua dragons or sea monkeys, because uh, you don't know the levels uh, if it's safe for them. Even if you use a neutralizer, because uh, you don't know if the neutralizers uh, remove all the chemicals that your sea monkeys will be susceptible to. Okay, so this is day number seven uh, with the basic things that came on the kits, following as much as I can uh, the instructions of sea monkey with sea monkeys and sea monkey, and aqua dragon with aqua dragon, aqua dragon, with a floor lamp LED because I in a place that do not get much sun so my next goal is to see if they reach uh, the point that there are females with eggs if under these conditions uh, both of these aquariums the reach the point that there are females with the eggs, then the whole cycle have completed. Well, at least until winter, because that is, is uh, I don't know how they well they would do in winter, even I uh, stabilized the temperature here in my apartment. Uh, but, and also the temperature in these seven days have been in near the optimal. It has been between 72 and 79 degrees uh, supposedly the optimal is between 80 81 82 but uh, that was too uncomfortable for me but the lower the temperature uh, the less uh, quantity of eggs come out of uh, less eggs hatch and the longer they take to hatch so Okay, so that is compressed all that I'm doing right now to see if this is the bare essentials that I can use for either aqua dragons or sea monkeys to survive and thrive. Okay, talk to you guys in next video.